So to change a board on a resiner, it's very simple as long as you have the replacement board. You're going to need to get the model number from the plate. I've got the plate removed. Usually it'll have the make and model. You take that to your plumbing wholesaler or heating supply shop. Tell them you need a new board. And it's very simple. You want to make sure that your power is off. Always want to confirm that there's no power with a tester. And then you can remove the old board. It's very simple. The only thing you have to watch out for is that there's some plastic clips on each corner. So you kind of just want to squeeze them like this. I'm trying to do this with one hand. A little squeeze and it should just pop out like that. I've already got this one done, but same thing on all the corners. And then once you got the whole board loose and out, you basically, it's going to just be plug and play because it's an identical board. So if you're not sure, you can just do one wire at a time. So unplug your main harnesses, get some room to work with the board. Take your new board and it's exactly the same. So you're going to take your EAC wire, plug it on, EAC on the new board and so on and so on. Just plug and play everything, put the new board back in, turn the power on, you should be good to go. And that's how to change a board on a Resner.